In this painting we're going to be painting some elephants. I saw these in a zoo in Tunisia and the backgrounds aren't often that interesting but because it's North Africa I want to make them very hot and exotic. The composition is almost perfect on its own. And to start with I'm going to wet the paper. And leaving the band of white will emphasise the silhouettes of the elephants later. And you notice I've put it on a slight diagonal, just really to add interest. First of all, I'm going to use some raw sienna. And I'm going to mirror that just above. Anything that's dripping, I can just take out at this time. It doesn't matter too much because we'll be going over that in pastel later. And then I'm going to use some cadmium orange. And again mirror that above. There's a lot of light hitting the elephant's backs. So I'm just taking the orange to there because the next colour is red and I want that to really show up the white on the backs of the elephants. So next we're into the cadmium red. Again I'm using it almost neat. that above. I'll take that quite a lot higher. I'm using a whopper brush so I can get lots of paint on there and get it on quite quickly. Next colour I'm going to use is an alizarine crimson, which is quite a cool red and much darker. So that's going into the bottom. It's just blending all on its own because it's all damp next to damp. don't matter too much. We can lighten that with pastel later. And then the alizarine crimson into the top of the sky. This all looks quite sort of crude at the moment, but it's laying a base for the colours that we're using. We can soften it up quite a lot with the pastel later. I'm also at this point going to paint in the darker shapes on the elephants. Just alter the drawing slightly because some of their trunks were heading and I thought it would be quite good if we actually had the trunk showing. Anything that's white, I'm trying to leave white. And now on to the next elephant. 
trunk there that isn't actually on the photograph. final elephant. If you do paint over anything that's white don't worry because we can put pastel over that later so it's not a problem. Right now we've just got to leave that to dry. And now I'm just going to put over the top of the paint that I've put down as a base, pastel in exactly the same colour. So we'll start off with a white. If you find that you've put any of the paint on in the wrong place to start with, you can alter it. You can take lines higher or lower. paint's run down, that white pastel is just covering it, so we're going to have a lovely light band running through. which is the raw sienna. I'm just taking that above so it's mirroring the same as we did with the paint. Just follow through with your lines so that they are consistent. Next, the orange. covering all the paper then above again to mirror what we've just done. We often find lots of interesting animals in zoos but it's often the background that would actually put you off painting them but you can always make up your own exotic background for all the animals. Just use really hot colours. You don't have to paint exactly what's there. Now we go on to the red, the cadmium red. And then bath. Just covering up all the paper. It's a rough paper that I'm using. And it's just a watercolour board. Now the alizarine crimson. And 
turn it off. again all the paper but now I need to blend that a little bit so with your finger just rub the pastel together I'll do the white first Blend that into the yellow and you can then soften the edges quite a lot. Take it over the edge of the white slightly. Down to the orange. And then blend the orange into the yellow. The same with the cadmium red. the ring crimson I'm just softening them all so they're not hard lines And then we need to do the same with the sky. 